Are you ready for question two? If yes, you give me a two in the chat box. One person, what about the rest? Okay, I'll make sure everyone is ready and I will start the question two. All right, so make sure you take out your uh, buku nota, you know, your paper, text pad to do this question. All right, so uh, just to remind you, we are now in chapter seven, bab tujuh, uh, which is called apa? The penyata kewangan. Alright, penyata kewangan milikan tunggal tambah pelarasan. Okay, so kita sudah buat soalan satu, which is dalam bentuk T, and today we'll be doing question two. So this question two, we will have to do dalam bentuk penyata. Alright, so there are two format, but the way to do it is the same. Okay. So here is the format for penyata for each one. Like for account perdagangan, so this is the format account perdagangan. All right, so you ada the nama perniagaan, nama tajuk, uh, tajuk format uh, penyata ini. Lepas tu, jualan, tolak pulangan jualan, you get your jualan bersih. Lepas tu, you minus your cost jualan, under cost jualan, you ada inventory awal. Lepas tu, belian-belian, you have to minus your pulangan belian. You get your belian bersih. Lepas tu, you have to add your Audi, A-U-D-I, Audi. Okay, lepas tu, you get the figure here. Then, you add with your inventory awal. You dapat cost barang untuk dijual. Lepas tu, you have to minus your inventory RQ. Then, you get your cost jualan. Lepas tu, you dapat your cost jualan. You have to use your jualan bersih. Minus your cost jualan, you get untung kasar. If the figure is negative, then it is a rugi kasar. Right? So after you get your rugi kasar, we can continue to do the account untung rugi. Now this is in the bentuk penyata. So you ada untung kasar, you put it back here from where? From your account perdagangan. Ini untung kasar punya amount, you letak kat sini. Then you do the same thing. You Plus hasil. So you have to know what are the hasil. Then you letak ke sini. Or you list down all the hasil. Then you add them up together. You put here. Add with your untung kasar. You get the figure here. Then you have to minus your belanja. So under your belanja, these are all the list for belanja. Okay, of course, there are more uh, items for belanja. But these are the uh, biasa punya. Okay, then you add them up together. You get... We put here, then you use the figure minus your belanja, then you get your untung. Okay, untung bersih. Okay, lepas tu, then we can do our penyata ku dengan kewangan dalam bentuk penyata. Okay, so this is the bentuk T, what we did last week. Okay, so you asset, all the asset on the debit side and all the equity permit plus liability will be on the credit side. Okay, but then for this, Format penyata a little bit different, okay? Because say okay, asset bukan semasa, alright? Then asset semasa, okay? But now your asset semasa perlu telus tolak your liability semasa. Can you see? It? So you add up all your asset semasa kat sini, then you have to minus your liability semasa dapat your modal kerja. Okay, there's something called modal kerja kat sini. So how do we get this modal kerja? I already show you the format, uh, the formula. So modal kerja equals to asset semasa minus liability semasa, which is this one. Is it? That's why this figure minus this figure, and then you get this modal kerja. And this modal kerja have to add your asset bukan semasa. Then you get the jumlah here. Bus to add. Kat bawah sini, you have your equity pemilih. Under your equity pemilih, you ada modal awal plus untung bersih, tolak ambilan, you get modal RQ kat sini. And then you add your liability bukan semasa. And then you get the final figure. And then these two must be imbang. Alright? 
So now let's do question number two. Okay, question two. Okay. So first thing, but a company dengan bagi tahun berakhir to the first December. So then you have to write the name Punya Gaan Mac Ma Hun Ma Han. And then the name account for the gun and bagi tahun ber uh, here thirty first December twenty twenty. Pas tu satu Right, then bring it Malaysia. So kau perdagangan. So always is like that. Okay. So this same format, you akan menggunakan sampai form five. Okay, not even sampai form five. Okay, after form five, if you go to college and university, you nak sambungkan uh, per akunan. Okay, then it's the same format you're going to use. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Even though, okay, BM lah, all right? But when you go to college and university, you'll be using English term. Okay, so account perdagangan dan account jenuh di sini in uh, English, they will call it uh, the statement of profit and loss. Okay, statement. of profit and loss. And this is for these two. Because when you go later, you see that we actually normally combine account perdagangan dengan account untung rugi. Okay, macam soalan tiga ni. So the straight will ask you to do account perdagangan dan untung rugi. We just combine together. All right, but now because we are still learning, we're going from A to B to C. Therefore, therefore, I break down to account perdagangan, lepas to account untung rugi for you to do. All right, and then the penyata keuntungan kewangan in English, we call it uh, the SOFP. So, statement of financial. Position. All right, so this they will change to the English term. Okay, but then other than the change term, okay, the format is the same. What does it mean? Meaning, let's say now you're in your account berdagangan, we will have jualan. All right, tolak pulangan jualan. Lepas so you get Jualan bersih. Perlu tak? We just go to our format here. Okay. Yeah, this one. Account berdagangan. Account berdagangan. Okay, this one. Right? So, you got jualan minus pulangan jualan equals to jualan bersih. Lepas tu, you minus cost jualan. Blah, 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 blah. So, when you translate, when you go to university and college, it's the same format, same pattern, just a term change. So now they don't use jualan, they use sales in English. And then pulangan jualan, they call a sales returns. That's it. Jualan bersih, they will call it a, a net sales. Something like that. The past two minus cost jualan, cost jualan in English, they use a cost of goods. So, and then the inventory hour, they call it the opening inventory 
opening inventory bullion, they call it the purchase. But I can tell you the arrangement of all these things is like this, the same. So you do the same thing, you add, you draw the same line. And then when they minus, they use bracket also, summer, okay, the other bubahan. The plus you minus, so here they will minus closing inventory. Okay, and then you get your cost, your cost of goods so and then you minus, then you get this thing, undung kasa, in English, they call it a gross profit. Okay, so you can see that all this pattern is the same, only the term change. Okay, so same goes to here. So Hasu, they call it an income, and then Belanger, they call it a, uh, expenses. So you just minus that, okay? So all the income you show here, and then you minus the expenses. And then in the penyata kedudukan kewangan, is the same thing, all right? So this will be like called a fixed asset. And the fixed asset, you got all these like vehicle, parable will be called, um, uh, what up? Uh? Uh, fixtures and fi fittings or yeah, furniture, something like that. Okay, then as a semester, inventory IQ, closing inventory. Uh, this is uh, I'm so forgotten what it called already. Yeah, so two nine then will be cash, bank, you know, account voluntary, uh, receivable. Yeah, receivable. Yeah, in English, receivable. And then blam, 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 blam. Okay, are you guys clear? If yes, you give me a C in the chat box. So what, what I was trying to say is that what you learn now, you are going to use the same thing sampai you mati. Okay? If you are in accounting, lah, all right? But then not only in accounting, as I always say, it's not just account. If you need to study accounting to use this accounting. If you go into business, Okay, let's say you go Bachelor of Business, you know, study business degree, international business. I tell you, you have to study accounting also. So you have to come back to all this format again. Not only business, if you go to finance, you know, so all this related when you're bender, at the end, you still have to touch on this stuff, all this format. That's why it's good for you to learn it now and remember it, then you will save up time to struggle. Okay? So you'll be thinking, I, uh, this accounting I don't like, so you just fail. Okay? Then, dun, 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 dun. then you go to college, then don't know how la, your friends are going to study accounting or your parents ask you to study accounting or you don't know, then you you back to accounting again, then you have to relearn everything again. So why not you just save up your time since you are here already, make sure you get right with the format. Okay, so come back to here. Question two. So very simple since we are just starting. So what I'm going to run through is with this Abalim again. So I think I don't need to restate everything here, right? So this is asset, belanja, ambilan, liability, hasil, modal. So from here, we have to list. Okay, so for kenderaan, you know, this is an asset. Angkutan masuk is a belanja. Okay, B for belanja. Ambilan, ambilan sini lah, right? Ambilan, okay, we put it as uh, equity per milik lah, right? Okay, because uh, ambilan all this is under equity per milik. Then, account belum terima asset. Account belum bayar liability, betul tak? Lengkapan asset, inventory, asset. And this inventory is a inventory awal. Yeah, I told you before, right? Inventory awal. This inventory IQ kat sini. Alright? Okay, so back to Berlin is a belanja. Because you buy all these are belanja. And then, tunai is an asset. Jualan is a hasil. Pulangan jualan is a, a contra of hasil. Okay, because the jalan is hasuma, right? So a pulangan jalan is a contract. To you, all this pulangan is a contract. That's why I put that X hasil, contract hasil. So kaji is a belanja, sewa di baya baya has uh, belanja. Pulangan belian, pulangan, you see pulangan is a contract. 
of Berlin. Berlin is a Berlinger, so it's a contract X Berlinger. Insurance a Berlinger. Bank is a asset. Belanja arm is a belanja. Angkutan keluar is a belanja. Discount di beri beri is a belanja. Discount di terima is a hasil and modal under equity per million EP. Can follow or not, guys? If yes, you give me an F in the chat box. So now I'm just listing down all the what we learned in the classification. Do you still remember? Your classification is in your bar. Two, form four. Okay, so this is your classifikasi. Classifikasi ada lima. Betul tak? Ada asset, liability, equity pemilik, EP, empat, hasil, lima, belanja. So you can see that all these five things are already insert here. Okay? And I said, all the one to three Asset, liability, equity, pemilik, masuk ke mana? Masuk to PKK. The penyata kedua kewangan. Mana kalau the hasil dan belanja, we go into your account untung rugi. You are. Then what about account perdagangan? Account perdagangan, I think there are four things that you have to list there. Okay, Do you remember? Like the first one is your jualan. The second thing is your belian. The third thing is your inventory awal. The inventory awal, the inventory RQ. The fourth thing is your RD. Do you guys remember these four things? If yes, you give me a four in the chat box. If four, you give me a four in the chat box. So these four things, you check back to your account with the very simple. Always just these four things. Okay, now I'm going to prove to you. So, mesti ada jualan. Can you see all the jualan, pulangan, jualan, jualan, per se is here. And then, the berlian. Can you see or not? All the berlian, pulangan, berlian is here. Lepas tu, your inventory. Your inventory awal, inventory RQ. You see? And then lastly, the Audi is here. Okay, a bit messy. Let me try it again. So that you can see a clearer picture. Okay, let me use highlight. Yeah, see, yeah. Let me give you see all the jualan. Data sini account perdagangan. All the belian. Data pulangan belian. Belian. Then all the inventory. Inventory awal dan inventory akhir letak. Lastly, all the Audi. Okay. Then you'll be asking, what about the rest? Ini. Let's say the pulangan belian, uh, I mean belian bersih, cost barang untuk dijual, cost jualan, and untung kasa. So this remaining four things is actually what? It's actually a calculation. Can you see not? So meaning all this yellow one, actually this jualan bersih is a calculation also. So all this jalan, all this highlighted one, you can get it from the table here. From here. Okay? Then yang tak ada highlight punya, the one I didn't mention just now, would be your calculation. After add, you get this figure. After you add this thing, you get your balance bersih. Lepas tu, you plus your Audi, you get your cost barang untuk dijual. Your cost barang untuk dijual, lepas tu, you have to minus your inventory IQ. Then you get your cost jalan. And then after that, you use your jalan bersih, uh, minus your cost jualan, then only you get your untung kasa. Do you get it? If yes, you give me a Y in the chat box. So, main thing, the four thing. Jualan, belian, inventory, and Audi. Can you understand not? If yes, you give me a Y in the chat box. Okay. So, very simple. So, here, let's check. The first thing, the jualan. Do we have jualan here? Definitely ada punya. If the other jualan, then the, your business surely mati. Die. Yeah, so where is my jualan? Jualan J, 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 J. J for jualan. Alamak. Where are you, bro? Okay, I see. Okay, so the jualan is actually a hasil, but no worries. So your jualan is 57,000. You put it here, 57,000. 
eight, uh, sorry, 600. So you're jalan. Siap. Lepas tu kita ada pulangan jalan, you minus. So pulangan jalan, minus means bracket, bracket 180. So after minus, you get your figure, you put here. Okay, then you get your jualan bersih. Lepas tu, you minus your cost jualan. So your cost jualan, you got the first thing. Always remember the, the format is like that. So the fix inventory awal dulu. So what is your inventory awal? Your inventory awal is always in this table. You don't take from here, you take from here. Your inventory, you see the word inventory? Maksud, this is actually your inventory hour. All right. How much? 2,590. So you put this one in the middle. 2,590. All right. 2,590 here. Then you go with your bullion. So for this bullion, you start with here. So your billion, how much? Two five zero eight zero. This one. Okay, so billion. So, so do you have pulangan billion? Yes, here. Okay, so you minus your pulangan billion. So you bracket your pulangan billion. Your pulangan belian is 150. Okay, so minus 150. Okay, lepas you see, you check. Do we have a uh, Audi? Remember our Audi? So what are the four Audis? The Audi, A, U, D, I. The first Audi is Angkutan. Ma. So, okay, no angkutan keluar, only for angkutan masuk. The U for upa atas belian. D for duty import. And then the I for insurance atas belian. Right, A for angkutan masuk, U for upah atas belian, D for duty import, I for insurance atas belian. It's already in the format. All right, so now you check. Do we have angkutan masuk? Yes. Here. So, tak. Okay, so wait. Before that, you what equation you need to do? 25,080 minus 150. Pulangan masuk. Then here we call it a a billion bersih. All right? So from your billion bersih here, you tambah, you add your Audi, the first A, angkutan masuk ada. All right? So you letak ke sini. Angkutan masuk, 550. Okay. You see angkutan keluar, right? So this angkutan keluar, later we go to account untung rugi. You are. Okay? Keluar is under account untung rugi. Masuk is under account berdagangan. Right? Okay. Lepas tu ada UDI dah. Ada upah dah. Atas upah atas belian. Atau duty import. Ada dah. Tak ada. Okay. Lastly, the insurance atas belian. Okay. You nampak insurance A. But, see ya. Ah, the Audi is insurance atas belian. But here tak ada atas belian, right? So, you don't need to put. Okay. This insurance later under account don't rugi. Okay. So, for this four Audi, AUDI, must be berkaitan dengan belian. Let me repeat again. This Audi must be berkaitan dengan belian. That's why upah atas mesti ada atas belian. Insurance mesti ada atas belian. If ada ada atas belian, you don't need to put here. Alright? So, then you add them up. You put here.
Okay, we come check check in here. So add this one. All right, then 24,930 plus 550, you get 25,480. This one we call it a cost billion. The past two, after you get your cost balance, you have to add now. You have to add this one, inventory hour, plus your cost balance. You get 28,070. This one, we call it a cost barang untuk di job. So this, sampai sini, is the total cost or the things for the barang yang kita job. But then, here got in this bullion, maybe other inventory yang belum guna lagi at the year end. That's why we have to minus out the inventory RQ. If the other guna, kita tak boleh letak ke sini. Because here, we only want to record apa yang sebenar digunakan. Alright? So, the, the leftover inventory RQ, kita akan keluarkan and then we use it in next year. Next year punya, inventory awal. Now we are doing 2020. So in 2021, this figure, inventory RQ, 2870 will be the inventory awal dalam 2021, December 31st. Okay? So here, minus. Then you draw the line. Cost around untuk dijual. Tolak inventory RQ. Get this figure. 25,200. And this 25,200 is actually your cost jualan. And this cost jualan is dalam bracket. Can you see it? So this one will be in bracket. Mm -hmm. Okay, then use this jalan bersih minus your cost jalan. So this 32,220, one line, double line. So this one is your untung kasa. Yes. Yep. So this is your untung kasa. 32,220. All right, I guess done. If you guys give me a D O N E done. Okay, if done, you give me a D O N E done. All right, meanwhile, I'll give some time to you to complete it. So give you another one minute. Okay, one minute. So yang sudah siap punya, you can, you can proceed to B. Kau untung rugi. So same thing for account untung rugi, mesti ada nama perniagaan tajuk. Alright, so you are done. If you have done the A, you can start with the B. Okay, run done. So that one minute, right? Okay, so if you haven't done, then you take the photo. So now we proceed to B. So in this B account, rugi, right? Same thing, just like what you did in last class for your bentuk T, you have to bring down the untung kasa. 
Okay, so here the first thing is start with your untung kasa. It is at about 32,000. Sorry, make sure you got the Ringgit Malaysia first. Okay, so your untung kasa, 32,220. Okay, from here. Okay, lepas tu, you add. Okay, so you add your hasil. So what are your hasil? So tadi kita sudah letak the ABA, you know, uh, asset, liability, equity, equity per million, hasil and belanja. So now you look at the H. Where's the H? Jalan, okay, sudah so potong, tadi sudah record. So if you already recorded in your account berdagangan, we don't need to record here again. Alright, so what are the other hasil? Mm, okay, discount D terima. Betul tak? Itu hasil. So here you put discount D terima. So because it's just satu discount D terima, satu hasil sahaja, you straight away put it on your right column sini. Okay, sini. So, uh, the, it is 450. Okay, so it's just one. Okay, so we boleh tutup dah. All right, so you tutupkan. Add them up. 450. You get 32,670. After you get this jumlah, then you minus your belanja sekarang. Okay, always mesti hasil datang dulu, then belanja. Plus first, then only minus. Alright, so now under your belanja, look at the B. So, start from the top. Angkuda masuk, sudah record, tak perlu. A, L, A, B, berlian. Okay, sudah record, tak perlu. And then gaji. Okay, so let's start with gaji. So, gaji. How much is the gaji? 3150 okay sewa di bayar belanja sewa di bayar uh 3200 okay pulangan belian tadi sudah record okay insurance insurance how much it is 800 okay then bank is asset berlanja am is a belanja so belanja am so belanja am 2200 okay lepas belanja am angkutan ke luar and that's why i told you bagi angkutan ke luar kita record dalam account untung rugi angkutan masuk masuk Dalam perdagangan. Angkutan keluar masuk dalam untung rugi. Alright. So, uh, angkutan keluar. Is um, 500. Okay. So, done. B. Okay. Then, discount delivery is a B also. is a belanja. Discount delivery. And all this... How you know if it is a hustle, how you know if it is a belanja on the first few classes. Okay, in Bab Dua, I told you just now, the classification. I really explain each term to you what it is and why it is a belanja, why it is a hustle. All right? So, whenever you see a D bury, you just remember the B lah. Okay, a B, D bury, bury, B for belanja. And if bury is this can be bury is a belanja, then this can be terima will be a hasil lah. It's the same thing. And whenever you see the word di baya, the B is for belanja also. That's why sewa di baya, this can be bury, you know, is belanja. But then when you say di terima is a hasil. Sewa di terima, discount, di terima, dividend, di terima, all this are hasil. Okay, so after that, Moda is an EP, so you can see all the B is already recorded here, then we can close it. Okay, by the way, this one, the bury is 450 juga. All right. So you add up everything you put here.
Okay. Ten thousand three hundred. Okay, by the way, this is a Belanger in a negative. So this one should be bracket. All right, should be bracket. So 36,000, 32,670 minus 10,000 Three hundred, we get twenty two thousand three hundred and seventy. This one we call it a untung brse. Okay, so if you have done, you give me a UB for untung brse. If you have done, you give me a UB. I give you some time to complete it. So, I'll give it two minutes. But after you have done, you give me a UB, yeah? So that I knew you have done. Okay, is everyone done? Let's see. Okay, I'll give you another one minute to 10, one zero. All right? So for those that so that set winner, you try question C. All right. Okay, so yeah, let's look at C now. So same thing, nama perniagaan lepas sutajuk. Sutajuk penyata kedudukan ke Wangan pada 31st December 2020. 
So that ringgit Malaysia, ringgit Malaysia. Okay, so here what I'm going to do is I will use a simple format for, for PKK. So if you look at the format that I give you here for PKK, you actually see three things on top here, which is a cost, susu nilai terkumpu, and nilai buku. But these are the three things that we haven't learned yet for Form 4. Okay, so you will learn this in Bab 8 later. So you will learn about susu nilai. So after you learn about susu nilai and you do PKK, then you need to do it in this form. Or you have to add these three things in. But for now, because we belum lagi uh, belajar tentang susu nilai, so we can abaikan this thing and share away stuff from asset bukan semasa and just one column so that's Okay, you don't need to break down to one, two, three, and then here. You just use one. Okay, you get what I mean later. Okay, so now as a book as a master. So you just list down all the asset bukan semasa. So asset bukan semasa are the kenderaan. Betul tak? Kenderaan 22,000. So you just should put here. Because the other susun in line, right? So you don't need to minus anything. Sure, we put here. Kenderaan, uh, lekapan, you know? Lekapan. Um, 5,000. All right, yeah, 5,000. Lekapan. Kenderaan lekapan. Ini ada asset is that this one is AS asset semasa, and yep, that's it. So these are the two asset bukan semasa. So you just add them up, put here. Okay, then asset semasa. So under asset semasa, you go back up again and look for the asset semasa. So account belum terima. How much is account belum terima sini? 5680. 5680. Lepas tu, ABB is a liability. No, tunai. Yes, tunai. Asset semasa. Two nine is uh, one zero seven zero. Okay, then um, what other asset? Bank. Yes, bank. Bank um, nine eight five zero. After that, at the A again, not no. Okay, lastly, don't forget about your inventory IQ. Always remember your inventory are cute. Uh, 2870. All right. So you can see that in a typical book, uh, sorry, in a typical penyata kedudukan kewangan. Okay. Biasa punya, normal punya. Dalam asset semasa ada empat benda ni. Okay. Mesti ada tunai, bank, inventory IQ, dan ABT. So if sometimes you bought, 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 okay, and then other, hanya ada tiga sahaja and you check, eh, what am I missing out? Okay, is it because dah ada dalam soalan ini atau saya sudah lupa atau terabai? Okay, so make sure the one thing that the student always will miss out is the inventor IQ because dia kat sini mah. So if dia kat sini, then you might miss out. Okay, or another reason is, Mereka buat salah. They go and put this figure, which is 2590, which is salah. Why? Because this is inventory awal. Kita nak inventory IQ punya amount. So, remember. Okay? Get CD. So, after you get all this figure, you tambahkan. You get 1940. Uh, sorry, 1970. Okay? So, this is your jumlah asset semasa. After that, you have to. Minus your liability. 
liability semasa. Your liability semasa, look at your L. Your account belum bayar. Ada lagi dah? Ada L lagi dah? I rasa dah ada dah. Because normally liability bukan semasa sikit saja. Macam satu account belum bayar. Unless ada overdraft bank. Overdraft bank dah tak sini juga. But here I don't see any other L. Isn't it? Okay, so it's just one. It should be put here. And remember, this is a minus. So you perlu bracket. Okay, how much is the ABB? Account belum bayar. 2340. Okay, then you this one minus this one, put here. Okay, just like your account to Any minus 2340, you get 17130. Okay, so here your modal. Kerja. So this is called your modal. Kerja. Okay, how you get your modal? Kerja? Tadi lah, I show you that. As a semasa. Minus liability semasa, then you get 17130. That is your model kerja. After you get your model kerja, what to do? You add with your asset bukan semasa. So use this 27,000 plus 17130. Get 44,130. Okay, not done yet. You still have the part at bawah, the bottom part. So you start off with your equity per million. Okay, under equity per million, always other modal awal. Modal awal, lepas you have to plus your untung bersih. Isn't it? Kita sudah ada untung bersih. Lepas tu you check, ada ambilan dah? Your A ambilan. Nah, ini. Ada. So I have to minus my ambilan. Okay. So your modal awal berapa? You look at your modal ini. Modal sini lah. So this is your modal awal lah. Okay. 22,920. Lepas tu how much your untung bersih? Untung bersih daripada mana? Daripada your account untung rugi. Okay. You can't find it here ya. You have to find it from your own account untung rugi. 22,370. 2, so you add them up first. Get four five two nine zero. Okay, then you minus your ambulan. How much is your ambulan? Your ambulan is one one six zero. So one minus one one six zero bracket. So we get this one. Minus 1160, you get 44,130. This is your answer. This one we call it the modal acute. So, modal awal plus untung bersih, tolak ambilan, you get modal acute. Okay, if soalan ada liability bukan semasa, then you put and tambah. But then, soalan ni tak ada pinjaman, therefore tak ada liability bukan semasa. Are you guys clear? All right, so give it time. Two minutes to finish this. Okay, so if you sudah siap, you give me a C in the chat box. So I said, you give me a C. Okay, two minutes to 9.22.
Okay, Rondon. If yes, I want to see D O N E in the chat box. Type D O N E done if everyone is done. We are done. Okay. Okay. So now let's go to page data. Set. Mm. Okay, go to your Pelangi workbook, your form four. So today we'll be using some question from your workbook, and then you turn to page one seven two. Okay, you go to page one seven two. Look at question thirty, everyone. Let me take out the thing. Meanwhile, I take out your, your workbook. Okay, so this one is uh, your chapter, actually. So it's to tutupkan account. You can see that they, are, they ask you to do tutup account. So you have to know how to tutup account. All right. Okay. okay. Can you see it? If yes, give me a yes in the chat box, please. So it's the same thing as in your book. Okay, question 30. So you read here, you can see apa, maklumat berikut ada baki-baki account, hasil dan belanja. Okay, and then uh, you have se sebuah. Lepas tu, anda dikendaki menyediakan catatan jurnal untuk menutup account-account di atas. So, chatanan journal means what? So, whenever you have this kind of thing, and then they ask you to do chatanan journal means journal. Um, okay, this is a journal. Arm. So, they, they ask us to do journal arm untuk menentukan all this account. So, now, there are two accounts for hasil dan belanja. Okay. One is you send to account perdagangan. Okay. Another one is you send to account untung rugi. Is that the two? Okay. Is either account perdagangan or account untung rugi. And which one go to account perdagangan? I read it just now. Jolan, Berlian, the Audi, and the about inventory okay and then for the account untung rugi is the rest okay yang tak ada dalam uh, account perdagangan all right so very simple okay now you go to this is so uh, pelangi work Book page one seven two. Okay, and then this is question thirty. Okay, so now you just prepare your journal arm first. So how does your journal arm look like? This is what we learn in uh bab empat your buku catatan pertama. First thing, your tarik. Lepas tu, your booty run. Lepas tu, your um, folio and debit credit.
Okay. Okay, this is a very simple question. Okay, so first, okay, uh, Tarik dulu lah, right? This is on uh, 2022, so year tahun 2022, debit, credit, ringgit, Malaysia, both. Okay, the past two. Okay, start from all these who under Jan uh, December 31st. Okay, semua will be on December 31st. Okay. So first thing, your billion. Okay. So now the thing is, how do we debit and credit dalam our uh general? Arm? Okay. So it's always like your T. Your account berdagang. If you look to your account, account berdengaran, then you have to remember, dalam account berdengaran kita, where is the billion at? And where is the, uh, you know, in the, where is the billion at in your account berdengaran? Alright? So you can see that the billion is here. Betul tak? If you look to your format, account berdengaran, your bullion is here under your account berdagangan. That means that. So, what does it mean? Does it mean that kita debit bullion? No. If you still remember how to do the ledger, you will see that we look at the title here. Okay, if bullion is under the debit side of this title, meaning kita have to debit our account. Perdagangan. And then we have to credit our billion. This is how you record. So how much, Daddy? Billion is 34,600. So debit and credit, 34,600. So why is it like that? Okay, so if this one, okay, contoh ah, okay, look at this one. Look at this example. So this is a account balance. All right, tadi this is account perdagangan. This is in the account balance. You will see that if you want to close an account balance, how do we close it? Is that right? Remember your baki HB and baki BB. Okay, so. The bigger one on the debit side, so 2240, 2240, and I have to minus 240, 2240 minus 240, you get 2000. So this one, uh, here, normally we write HB and BB, but that. But then now is the real catatan penutupan. What does it mean? So when kita not really tutup, maksudnya kita have to hantar to account perdagangan. Why? Because now is at the year end, we want to do penyata kewangan. We want to do account perdagangan, we want to do account untung rugi, we want to do penyata kewangan kewangan. So when we want to do all these things, okay, then we cannot put HB and BB dah. We have to send to that account. So for Berlin, we have to send to perdagangan. That's why here, kita letak Perdagangan. Account perdagangan. You get it? So you can see that here, as, as I said just now, when this is debit side and credit side, and then this perdagangan appears in the credit side. So when this one appears in the credit side, we have to credit the title, which is the account bullion. That's why you see, we have to credit account bullion and debit perdagangan. That's why same here. So I debit perdagangan and credit Berlin. So for this one, it's 34,600. Are you guys clear? If yes, you give me a C in a chat box. C if you are clear. So this is actually like your ledger debit and credit. 
All right. So continue jualan. So you can see, imagine that in the account perdagangan, your jualan is here. Betul tak? So here, maksudnya we have to credit our account perdagangan and debit our jualan. So here, debit your jualan and credit your account perdagangan. Forty-two thousand eight hundred. Okay, then angkutan masuk. Angkutan masuk is your Audi, right? Angkutan masuk is in the account berdagangan. Therefore, where is the angkutan masuk? You can see the angkutan masuk is here. Therefore, I have to debit account berdagangan. So here I debit account per. The gangan. And I told you when you debit satu account, you must take credit another account. So here I have to credit the angkutan masuk. Kau berdagang dengan angkutan masuk is two forty. So both is two forty. Okay, lepas tu angkutan keluar. So, this angkutan keluar tadi kita sudah buat satu soalan. Angkutan keluar ni ada akan masuk dalam account untung rugi. Right, tadi, sini. Eh, angkutan keluar. In your untung rugi. So, dalam your account untung rugi, this angkutan keluar is a belanja, isn't it? So the belanja in your bentuk T, if you still remember for your account untung rugi, is on the debit side. Alright, you can see your angkutan keluar is on the debit side. Maksudnya, I have to debit my account untung rugi. And then only credit my angkutan keluar. How much is my angkutan keluar? One, three, zero. Okay, lepas tu be your gaji, same thing. All this uh, gaji lah, sewa lah, kadar bayaran lah, is in the account untung rugi. Alright. So here, uh, I have to debit my account untung rugi. And then your gaji. Account untung rugi is for gaji 8,000. 8,000. Sewa, same thing. Sewa is 9,600. Kada bayaran. Um, 4,550. Okay, then commission diterima is a hasil. Okay, for you, in your account untung rugi, your hasil is on the credit side. Betul tak? So on the credit side, meaning I have to credit my account untung rugi. So when you credit your account untung rugi, you have to debit your commission diterima. Okay, pas tu is your belanja am belanja am same thing lah belanja is same lah. So I have to debit my account 
how to give. And then credit the belanja arm. Four two zero, four two zero. Discount D beri is a belanja lah. I told you just now beri B belanja belanja you debit you debit into your account only. Discount D beri ma. Eh sorry D beri. Okay, next, discount D terima, terima same thing, is a hasil, hasil is on the credit side, so you credit your account untung rugi, so when you credit your account untung rugi, you have to debit your discount D terima, discount D terima, credit your account untung rugi, so how much, 760. Okay, lepas tu, now you see duty import. Duty import, does it sound familiar to you? The duty import is one of the Audi. The D here, duty import. So the Audi belongs to where? Into the account berdagangan. Is here, right? Audi on the debit side. Look at your format here. Audi here. Duty import, the debit side. So you debit your account berdagangan. So after you debit your account perdagangan, you have to credit your duty import. So that is uh, 520. 520. Okay. Then pulangan jualan. Okay. So this Pulangan jualan is a bit different, but then if you see, uh, if jualan is you debit jualan, you credit perdagangan, then you just tukarlah. So it becomes you debit perdagangan, and you credit pulangan jualan. But then you'll be wondering, okay, see, uh, if you debit perdagangan, perdagangan, you credit pulangan jualan. So you see, the pulangan jualan is actually on the credit side. Maksudnya, supposedly, I should credit my account perdagangan. Tapi sini saya debit account perdagangan and credit account jualan. That's why here there is a minus. So before by right, okay, by right, ah, pulangan jalan should be here. PJ, pulangan jalan should be on the debit side of your account berdagangan. All right. So if it is on the debit side, that makes sense, right? So I debit my account berdagangan and then credit my pulangan jalan. When here in this um uh, account berdagangan, I want to manage my jalan because I want to see my jalan. But say if I put here pulangan jalan here. I cannot see what is my jualan bersih. You know what I mean? Because I want to straight away minus from my jualan. Therefore, I have to force it to come this side. You know what I mean? So at first, they got sini positive punya. But then because dia be forced to another side, therefore it becomes a minus. Is it just like your equation? If one equals to 3 minus 2. If you want to change, sorry, let me put it like that. 3 minus 3 plus 2 equals to 5. All right. Okay. So now if I want to change this 2 to the other side, it becomes 3 equals to 5 
the plus 2 positive 2 have to become a minus 2. And it becomes 3 also. 3 equals to 3. It's the same thing. Are you guys clear? If yes, you give me an F for following. If you are following. All right? So now you're clear. That's why we have a minus here. Same thing for pulangan belen. The pulangan belen supposedly be here. But now, because we want to see the pulangan, uh, the belen berse, therefore we put it here. So because we put it the other side, it becomes a minus. That's why all this thing that you see, you see a minus sign when you they are actually a account contra. Because they are not supposed to be here, but they come here by force. That's why they are account contra. Pulangan jualan, pulangan belian, susut nilai terkumpul. You know, all these are contra. Okay, so come back to here. Therefore, this uh, is like that. You debit perdagangan, and then you credit pulangan jualan. So, very simple tips. If jualan debit account perdagangan credit, then you just tukar saja, you flip. Then it becomes debit perdagangan, credit pulangan jualan. Okay, how much is that? That is um, 210. For both, 210. Okay, next. Same thing lah, pulangan belian. Look at belian. Belian tadi saya debit perdagangan, credit belian. So, you tukar pulangan belian saya debit setelah. Then you credit account. simpanan tetap. Okay, simpanan tetap. To you before, simpanan tetap is a fixed deposit. So when you save money in the bank account, the bank account give you faida, give you interest. So when they give you interest faida, so it's something like you terima, the terima. So this is actually a hasil. So a hasil is on the credit side of your account don't rugi. So you have to credit your account don't rugi. So if you credit your account untung rugi, maksudnya I have to debit my faida. Simpanan tetap. Four five zero. Okay. Then last one, faida pinjaman bank. So faida pinjaman bank is terbalik. So sekarang you pinjam wang dari the bank and kita perlu bayar faida kepada bank. So that is a Faida D buyer lah. So when it is a D buyer, you buy it becomes a belanja. So belanja is on the debit side of your untung rugi. So you have to debit your untung rugi. Account untung rugi. Then you credit your faida. In German bank. Which is 600. That's it. Okay, lah. so this is the whole thing. So this one, to do this one, you have to understand where they are going to for their account berdangan. Is it account berdangan? Is it account untung rugi? Is it PKK? Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing is you have to know the ledger, the system charan bergu, how they debit and credit. Uh, once you understand these two, then you can do this. All right? Are you guys okay? If you guys are okay, you give me a one in the chat box. And this is a two. Okay, really? All right. So lastly, mm, this one. Okay, lah, I think we better don't rush this part. This one I will keep it for next class. Okay, because I'm scared if I rush this part, you might not get this one. 
Okay, it's actually the same thing now is in the ledger. So if you don't understand this one, then if we do this one, then you understand. All right, what do I mean by this one? Okay, so now uh, I'll just keep this one for next class and then we will finish off the last question, which is question three in it. Okay, then I think we are done for this chapter, chapter seven. And that's why this chapter seven is actually a very short chapter because it's very simple. Okay, you just need to know the account protection, account doing, and PK, then that's it. Okay, then we have to quickly go into Bab Lapan. And that is a big chapter, actually. Okay, the Polarasan. That a lot of theories, a lot of calculation we have to do. Uh, so we have to focus more energy on that chapter. Okay, so let me give you homework. So your homework today will be page 165, question 8. 65, question 8. That's your account dengan dalam bentuk penyata. Okay, then you go to page 166. That's question 12. This is your account untung rugi dalam bentuk penyata. And lastly, your page 170, you do question 23 and question 24. These are the account penyata kedudukan kewangan dalam bentuk penyata. Alright, so total four questions for you. Alright. Have you noted down? If noted, you give me a noted in the chat box. If noted, you give me a noted in the chat box. Four questions. Question 8 on page 165. Question 12 on page 166. And question 23 and 24 on page 170. Okay. Third, the rest, what about the rest? Okay, so you have noted down, then that's all for today's class. You may leave early today, so I will see you in the next class. All right, so goodbye and take care.